So we've got Suzette, who's agree agreed to be our volunteer today with the Achilles. She's going to allow us to scan her foot. I'm going to show you what that process is. So with the unit itself down here, you can see that you've got measure patient, which is the indicator that you want. And we're going to say measure patient. And then what you'll see is that there are a number of parameters that you'll want to input to the system. Are we doing the left or right foot? In this instance, we're going to do the left foot. You simply touch foot and it says left foot and then we need to put the age into the system. So we simply input the individual's age and then you say set. And that really is the entire process for getting the unit ready. Now, there is a toe pin here that we can leave where it is or if you want to be highly reproducible, you can slide that down and all the pin, toe pin does is ensure that the foot is completely straight in the unit. A lot of people choose not to use it just for speed's sake, but to be completely correct, we'll use it today. Now, I, know, I just have our rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna spray both sides of Suzette's ankles, her ankle, and then down here on the unit, I'm gonna simply say start. So after I say start, you'll see that the screen's gonna change, and then it's gonna ask me, apply alcohol, position the foot, and do not allow the alcohol to dry. Press continue. And then you're gonna see the membranes come out and make contact with Suzette's heel. This actual scan process only takes approximately 15 seconds. And during this process, what it's doing is again, it's sending sound through the heel. It's looking for speed and attenuation. The nice thing about using these membranes is it gives you a much larger coupling area with the heel so that when you're scanning the cocaneus, you'll be able to, to get a larger area of bone for sample to provide your results. Once the scan is done, the membranes will simply pull back. Suzette will be able to remove her foot from the system and the alcohol that's on her ankle will simply dry up. She can put her boot back on. So that was it, that was the entire process. Now you'll see down here on the system, here's the information that it provides. So. The nice thing is it gives you graphical results, and I'm sorry about the resolution on the, uh, the, resolution on the screen here. Um, the stiffness index is 111. Now, we provide a stiffness index, which is the most accurate way to do it. We can tell you, based on your stiffness index, that your T-score equivalent is 0.7, and your Z-score equivalent is 0.8. The other nice thing is that the system will actually show you a graphical representation of where you fall on the normal chart based on your stiffness index. Now you can take these results and you can actually print these results. And the other thing that I'll point out is that this, the screen on the system toggles. So if you wanted to flip this back towards the other individual or towards yourself, you have the ability to, to toggle the screen. Um, but you'll see down here that the results print right out of the back of the system. And the nice thing about that is that you can take these results and you can give them to the individual that was scanned so they can keep them for future reference, or you can put them in the patient file. Now, you also have an option to do an eight and a half by 11, um, you know, full size sheet of paper if you wanted to do that also. But you can see here that the, the date and the time that the scan was done, the stiffness index results, you see the individual's pertinent information, then you see the reference data, right? The T-score equivalent, the Z-score equivalent, and the stiffness index graph, all on one simple sheet that you can uh, then store in the patient file or, or give to the individual for their own reference. And that really is the entire process. If I go back in here, um, I just simply tell the system that I want to back up, and next individual sits down, and I'm scanning my next individual literally just that fast. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any additional questions, please let me know.